Hiện nay là tôi đang ở chân của tòa tháp CN Tower của Toronto, Canada. À, chúng tôi đi thăm nhà máy sản xuất bia có tên gọi là Steam Whistle. Welcome in. Đây là các uh, du học sinh uh, đến từ uh, Việt Nam và từ Trung Quốc. Chinese and Vietnamese students from Centennial College. Uh, this is a uh, rope bag. This is for free? Sample. Yeah, uh, sample. sample, right? So here we have samples for our students. Are you checking their ID? Yes. Steve Whistle. I will have to try. Guys, this is sample. Wanna try it? So, two Ah, cheers. Chill. Cheers. Cheers. Have a nice day. This is sample. Cheers. Cheers. Come on. Hi. Cheers. Cheers. English, please. What? English, please. English, <laughs> please. No. Fresh beer. Yeah, very fresh. Fresh beer. Good. Oh. Can't wait. Right, everybody. I'm going to be your tour guide today. We're going to get started on this side of the bar. So okay. you guys can follow me this way. Thank you. So that's group number one. Guy, come here. Uh, we we'll stay here? Yeah, just right there. I'm going to grab you guys a beer. Thank you. All right, there you go. All right. Guys. 
Chưa đủ tuổi If, if, if I can I can Oh Not for my Not enough Why you can't? You can have my ID. <laughs> Guys, who want to try? Anyone Come on. Come on. Muốn rồi mà chai. Uống đi. Mất tiền mà. Everyone else is good. All right. Mất tiền mà không uống thì đút vào ba lô tí mang về. Không uống được thì tí 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 mang về cho ba lô. Đi à, bỏ ra lấy Mà thôi cầm đi ra hai cái muốn chuyện Và bây giờ chúng ta bắt đầu đi vào khu vực uh, sản xuất của nhà máy Đây là hồ I don't use 3G so I cannot live stream on Facebook À, khu vực này thì tạm thời cũng chưa có gì cả, vẫn uh, rất chống trải. Uh. Wow. All right, it? guys, gather in, gather in. Yeah. Uh, so these are gonna be our headsets today. I'm gonna wear them like little doctor stethoscopes. Oh. It gets loud in there. Oh, it's so noisy. It's now. The... I'm gonna be talking on the microphone oh. so that you guys can oh. hear me. Right. So I'll show you how they work. You open them up, green light comes on, and you want to be on channel three. Oh, so, so you just push up, oh, now it's sure three. It says channel three. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so I'll hand those out for you. So. There you go. Make sure you have channel three. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. 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 You need one there? Oh, you need one. Cheers. There you go. Another two. Okay. Okay. Now I'm on channel four. There we go. One more. One more. I'm on channel four, so I. So I'm going to unmute myself here. Can you hear me now? Some of you? No. No? No, no not yet. Oh, that's because I'm on channel 2. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? No. No, not yet. Not at all? Maybe the, check the battery. Mm. How about the volume? Oh. Ah. Okay. There we go. Now we can hear. There we go. Everyone can hear me? Yes. yes. There we go. Amazing. Um, if it gets too loud, you can turn it and that's the volume. Yeah. On your little you dial there. Twist it. Yeah, exactly. Um, Perfect. Well, welcome, you guys. Welcome to Steam Whistle. Um, where is everybody from? Um, uh, we're from Vietnam and uh, China. China. Amazing. That's awesome. I went to Vietnam a couple years ago. Oh, it's great. Beautiful. Yes. Loved it there. Oh. And also welcome you to China. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll have to make it there soon. Okay. Um, I do want to go there eventually, for sure. Um, well, welcome to Canada as well, then. Yeah. Very Thank exciting. you. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys on a tour today of Steam Whistle Brewery. So this is where we make a lot of beer. Yeah. Um, really amazing thing about this company. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story of the company. It's completely Canadian. It started here in Toronto. You can only get this beer in Canada. Um, it's a really awesome Canadian story of uh, starting from the ground up and building a very big company. Um, so, we'll talk a little bit about this building as well. 
Canadian Pacific? Yes. Yeah. So this building is a Canadian National Historic Site. Um, it was built in 1929 and it was originally a repair facility for steam trains. Uh, so it's a very special building. It ended up being decommissioned in 1986 um, and it was sold to the City of Toronto for one dollar. So basically the way this works, it's called a round piece. Uh, so, let's go inside for a second, I can show you. Toronto Hamilton Buffalo. All right, so you can see this big pit in the center here. Um, that train is sitting on something called a turntable. So the way it used to work was the trains would be pushed on to this turntable and it would rotate. So it would rotate and oh. push the train into these different uh, oh. garage doors here. Oh, yeah, I see. Does that make sense? Yeah. I see. Yeah, so then uh, once the trains were pushed into these doors, the workers would work on the trains and make sure that everything was good to go. Um, so this big structure here, that's the original turntable. It's one of the last standing roundhouses in Canada. Uh, so it's really cool historical site. That means nothing can ever happen to this this building. It's protected uh, But of course it was decommissioned in late 80s and it basically just sat here as a vacant building for 10 15 years until steam whistle came in and bought this space and turned it into a brewery um, So we'll go back inside. I'll tell you a little bit about how steam whistle kind of came to be. So can we know how much did you bought? How much did you bought this? Uh, the area? lot? So the city of Toronto bought it for one dollar from the Canadian Pacific Railway. Yeah. Steam Whistle, we rent it from the city of Toronto. Oh, so you yeah. rent it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we rent it. Technically the city owns it yeah. because it's a historical building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so cheap. <laughs> so now I can pay you one hundred dollars to buy it. business together. Pardon me? So they, after that they start business together. Exactly. So after they were fired, um, we went on this big annual camping trip that they do every year. So in Canada, I'm not sure about Vietnam and China, but uh, we like to go camping here. Um, we like to go out into the forest, canoe, swim, sleep in tents, uh, and drink a lot of beer in the woods. What yeah. we do. Um, so that's exactly what they were doing. They were out on a camping trip in the forest uh, and it got really late at night. It was like two, three o'clock in the morning, middle of the night, and people started, you know, falling asleep, a couple too many beers, passing out, and um, eventually around the campfire there were just three guys. So that was Greg Taylor. Cam Neeps, Greg Cromwell. And while they were sitting around that fire having beers with each other, that was the moment that they decided we should start our own brewery. Because all the best ideas happen when you're having a couple beers yeah. with your best friends. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> exactly. Yes, so that's exactly what they did. That next week they started their own brewery, which they called Steam Whistle. Um, but 
it wasn't called Steam Whistle to begin with. It actually had a different name in oh. the beginning. Oh. And that name was the Three Fire Guys. Oh, that's the first name. That was the first name because that's what they were. They were Three Fire Guys, so that's <laughs> what they named their beer. Uh, eventually, they realized maybe the Three Fire Guys isn't the best name for our company if we want people to trust us. Uh, so they eventually went with the name Steam Whistle. Um, so why did they choose the name Steam Whistle? In the 1950s, which was also known as the golden age of brewing, every day at five o'clock, they blow off a big steam whistle and that would say, okay, the work day is done. It's time to put down what you're doing, have a beer and reward yourself for the hard work that you've done. So that's really the feel that they wanted to get across with their company, was that it was all about rewarding yourself and celebrating all of that hard work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? So that's where the name Steam Whistle came in. So when, uh, what years uh, we changed? 1950. 1950. So 1950 is the golden age of brewing. That's the feel that they're trying to get started. This company started in 2000, so we are 17 years old, yes. So late 90s, 1999 is when they went on that camping trip. 2000 is when they bought the lease here and started the company, yeah. The 1950s is just kind of the style and the feel that they're trying to bring back to beer. Uh, I'll show you something cool on your bottles for anyone who has a bottle as well. We can show around. Uh, so on the front of the bottle, if you look at the 5% alcohol level, yeah. run your finger down, there's something ingrained in the glass right underneath. Can you see what that says? Uh, it's... <laughs> right there, can you read what that says? Three FG. Does anybody know oh, what that yeah. might stand for? Three FG. Three fire man. Three uh, fire three guys. Uh, yeah, three yeah. fire guys. Yeah. It wasn't making up this story. Uh, so that's on every bottle. It's on most of the clothing. Um, it's on all of the cases because three FG, three fire guys. That's where it all began for them. So they're still holding on to that. So that's a fun party trick. Show people that. Um, all right, I'm going to take you guys into the brew house and we'll show you where we make the beer as well. Thank you. Guy, <laughs> welcome. Guy, Bây giờ chúng ta bắt đầu bước vào phòng sản xuất của nhà máy bia Steam Whistle Mùi kiểu như mùi, mùi lên men Mùi mùi bốc Đây, Mùi cám, mùi cám Thank you. 
for five to seven days, and then we just let it sit and age for 21 to 25 days. So for what? All right, I'll take you guys. sure that it's consistent and also up to our quality standards as well. Um, so beer is chemistry, right? Yeah. Uh, it's got a lot to do with temperature and timing. Um, so this part of the process is very important to ensure that everything is where it needs to be, what it needs to be. Yeah. yeah sounds interesting. station on the left here. Um, so we have 20 liter, 30 liter, and 50 liter kegs available. So this is what we pour our draft out of downstairs. Um, we have a machine that can fill 60, 50 liter kegs in one hour. So that machine behind there can fill about um, one of those big 50 liter kegs in one minute. Oh. Very, very fast. Yes. into the canning bay. So we are canning today, which is really cool. You guys will get to see what it looks like, how we fill up our cans of beer.
How can you know uh, if it used to up to 45 yes. times? So there's no way to know exactly how many times it's gone through. We have tested bottles to make sure that they are can withstand still can, that. Still can use yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Um, a regular brown bottle, a regular beer bottle, you can only use about 10 to 15 times. So our bottles are much more... Um, heavy duty, they can withstand a lot more, and we can recycle them more as well. Let's go green. Yeah. How about the cans? The cans, you can't, re you can't reuse the cans. You can recycle them. Um, but unfortunately, with a can, they have to go to tin recycling. As opposed to a bottle, we just put it right back through the washer and fill it back up. Yeah. Uh, so, on an average day of bottling, We'll fill a hundred thousand bottles a day. Hundred thousand bottles. Bot bottles. So in one day, we can fill a hundred thousand of them. One hundred thousand. Yeah. So quite a bit. Um, this machine or this video kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like when bottles are being loaded. So those are the used bottles being loaded onto the line down here and then that's our big bottle washer in the center. Okay. Uh, uh, you can see that the machine is in the middle of the machine. So, this chai this chai can be used as well as 45 times. Tomorrow, they'll be bottled. Yes. This is the... Chai rồi là cho bia vào chai. Uh, công suất của họ là một ngày là khoảng 100.000 uh, đóng gói được 100.000 chai. Okay. I, I already asked. How can you know uh, if it's used many times? How, how you know many times? You can't tell exactly how many times it goes through. Yeah. But I'll show you on the other side. We have a machine that inspects every bottle. Yeah. So I'll show you that on the other side as well. biết được là cái chai này có được sử dụng 45 lần hay không thì chắc chắn là nó không thể xác định được. Where my 18 year old? 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 Here, you get to pull the steam whistle. So do it all at the same time, and it's going to come up right on the bottle washer. So just pull really hard. What's that for? Steam whistle. Oh. Okay. Pull, pull. Oh. Oh, that's a steam whistle. Oh, okay. Really good, really good. Okay. 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 Okay.
Drew's down there. They get, <laughs> they, they get angry they, at you. They get some way, right? But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's our bottling line here. Let's keep moving on. This machine takes all the bottles and packs them into the case. Oh. So you can see there's a big arm there. Picks them all up and places them into the case. Oh. Đây là cái máy tự động để nhấc cái các cái, cái, cái chai bia để cho vào cái so băng truyền. Cái khô hay tắt cả. Và chúng ta có thể xem cái video kia. Cho hết cái chai bia vào. circular machine in the center, big circle, uh, that is where the bottles are filled. So uh, they go all the way around, they're filled all the way up to the top, uh, and then before they're capped, they go through a process called bobbing. So have you ever been holding a beer, someone comes up with their bottle and they tap it on the top of yours and it foams over? No? Um, so. We do that to get rid of the oxygen in your bath. Beer hates oxygen, right? So you have to make sure that it's got bubbling CO2 in the neck. Right. 